Hey guys, so today I just want to check out the browser here a little bit on the uh, uh, Galaxy Note 3 uh, and also on the iPhone 5s because uh, I got some requests about that as well. People wanted to have a video about it. So I have 7.1 here final uh, on the iPhone 5s and then of course and if you want for KitKat here on the Samsung Galaxy S4. So 7.1 over here. So you're just gonna open up the Safari browser and then of course Samsung's own internet browser here. And I do have a website over here, which is GSM Arena. Now, of course, the big thing you're gonna notice here is that there's a big difference in the color white. Uh, white looks just so much more white on that LCD panel uh, on the iPhone. But then again, uh, it's a little bit of a small display, uh, which I find a little bit uh, not so attractive. Uh, another thing I noticed actually with the iPhone that I never noticed earlier is that when I zoom in here, and let's say I start to go up and down like this, I can't you suddenly start to go to, to the side or um, I mean I can only continue to go up and down if I take up my finger I can suddenly do this again and if I start to do it like this I can't do it up like this without um, releasing the display which is a little bit random because I haven't been thinking about it if you want to go up and down like this you have to start doing that and now you can go up and down of course and do whatever you like so it kind of is like three modes uh, we don't have the same on the Galaxy uh, the Galaxy uh, Note 3 uh, Apple is probably doing it because it, feel, it looks a little bit more smooth you can see here I only have this like free mode it seems uh, where it can go wherever I want and it gets uh, it creates kind of like a little bit more of a shaky feeling uh, something I've never been thinking about before but you start to think about right now uh, let's just tap here Okay, seems to be loading up quicker here uh, on the iPhone um, 5s. The cool thing also with the iPhone 5s here is if we want to go back a page, look at how quick it is compared to the Galaxy Note 3. I mean, I don't even have to go back. Uh, I can just go on the side here and it, it already have cached uh, that little page that I previously was on. So very, very cool. Uh, one of the bad things, of course, here with the uh, uh, with the iPhone 5 is that if I zoom out completely, uh, I can still read the text, most of the text, but it's almost like I can't read the text. Uh, on the Galaxy Note 3, I can actually see the text pretty clear on this 1080p display without even having to zoom in. Uh, so that's another cool little thing there. Also going up and down, uh, it's a little bit slow uh, on the iPhone 5s. I definitely want to have it quicker so I don't have to swipe too much in a long text. Uh, on the Galaxy Note 3 I can just do one swipe and I'm up and I'm down and it's very very impressive. Uh, so actually I do enjoy that more on the Galaxy Note 3. Uh, yeah. Let's see here if we can have another article here. You can see it's loading up. And overall here it seems like the iPhone is a little bit snappier in speed with the with Safari browser, which is a very very good browser here. So um, yeah, just a quick little look here. Both are very very good. I would still, uh, for me personally, have the Galaxy Note 3 as a winner but just because I do like big things, big displays. But if Apple can pull off a big iPhone this year, uh, I'm definitely down for it. So yeah, peace out.